Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're talking about Chanel wash mitts or noodles. These, you know what they are, these things. <laughs> now, I believe these are perhaps the safest wash media. That may, word makes me laugh. But, you know, it's the best way to describe it because you've got all these different options. You've got, you know, you get it. But I'll just show you in case there's new people watching. So you've got sponge. You've got synthetic wool, you've got microfiber, you've got shaggy wool, you've got um, not so shaggy wool, you've got mitts and you've got pads. Um, have I missed anything? You know, and people do even use the sponges. Now, it's really, for me, all about what happens when you're wiping the mitt over the surface of the car and you hit little spots of dirt and grease and grit and all that sort of stuff that's on there. So important things are getting as much of it off as possible. We've talked about that loads of pre-washing. So the surface is, yeah, there's minimal dirt and bits of grit on there. And then the next thing is obviously washing nice and safely with gentle pressure. Uh, you know, cleaning the wash media out is still an important thing. You've got the two bucket if you want to do that, whatever. It's all on my mind because we've been talking about it. Um, but also is the type or the format of the wash media that you use and I, like i said going back to the start i believe from what i've seen that there's these have an edge in reducing the scratching you can get from grit and i'm not sure why i think these noodles tend to move around every time if you do get some dirt into a bit of one of them when you go back into your bucket and pick it up you might get another side or i don't know or there's just more cushioning but they just seem to be really really good now Two, there's two types, isn't there? There's the mitt that you can get your hand into. So this is like the woolly, this is the woolly worm it one that you can put your hand into. Now, what's the advantages of having your hand inside here? The advantage is when you're doing the side of the car, you haven't got to hold on to it or balance it or pin it to the panel to um, wash it. You can just, it's just on your hand. And you can go nice and gently on the panel without having to pin it. Um, that's one of the advantages and you can sort of feel the pressure when you put put your hand on top you haven't just you know you get the idea so you can, can you get a bit more control I think with the mitt but I just I always like to take my hands out of them and grab things and, and I'm doing stuff and I like to be able to plonk them wherever they are I like to be able to flip them as well so it's harder to flip this when it's on your hand so I've always favored like a a pad over a mitt so here's an example of a noodle pad um now the downside so it's like a sponge block inside the, the noodle the downside of this is all of the weight when it's full up with water and suds it's quite heavy it is a lot of weight plonking down there when you add the weight of your hand you might be putting too much pressure so i think some people do prefer the mitts for that reason that they're, they're not quite as heavy now in terms of storing suds and stuff like that that used to be something i'd think about now i don't even care about that because as long as it's got the wash solution on it i don't care really how sudsy it is i'm trying to get out of that that trap or that mindset so what i think i'm looking for is i'm looking for a pad a noodle pad now this is the kent car one the problem is i don't want this mesh for cleaning the glass that shouldn't really go near paint uh, it's like the diamond it's the same as the diamond weave that is a nice stretchy weave with the sponge inside um because i'm wasting all this side if i got a good side here and i could use that for a lower seal then i could flip it around and i've got another clean side so i just want a complete noodle on both sides of the pad that's what i'm looking for however very few options so that's no good because um i want the noodle on both sides how many other pads are there out there with the noodle on both sides? Well, there's a few. So I found one, Simon Eyes had one. Imran sells one from Into Detailing. I think Griot's Garage have one. But I can tell straight away, you know, Paragon Microfiber have one over here. Look, this looks great. The problem with all those ones I've just mentioned is they're all too floppy. This one doesn't have any sponge inside it, as far as I can see. When it's wet, it's just like a floppy rag. That's no good. Now, this one here, this is the only one on the market that I can find that has a sponge in it. Chemical guys might do one with a sponge as well, but it looks floppy. I don't want a floppy one. 
I also want to be able to get my hands around it so that when I'm doing the side of the car, I'm not reliant on pinning it. I can actually hold it like this. So that's, they, they look, they think about these things. You might think I'm a nutter thinking about, talking about all this stuff and thinking about it. But the guys that design all these things, think about it. It's tapered in the middle for a reason. And that is so you can get your hands around it without stretching. So that is really clever bit of design actually. And it feels great. But I want both sides. I almost want this tapered, but not quite as thick as well. Because this is like a brick. Now this is the Carand Carand one, which is an American company. It's made in China. They're all made in China or Korea. But Carand, you know, have this made. There's a company called Auto Spa. That, it came with an Auto Spa label. And I, I correct me if I'm wrong, and apologies, but I think it, there's some sort of connection. It's the same product. And it's like the European version of it. I don't know. So totally wrong on that. But this is the Auto Spa one. And you can get it on Amazon. Um, and it's on paper, it's what I want. However, the foam that's in it, inside it, is too floppy. And when it's all wet, it all sags and it all just goes all floppy. And the foam inside it is not saying in the, in the right place. And it's just not perfect. But I think... This, it's about seven or eight quid as well. I think this might be as close to what I want. Is that I don't think there's anything closer than this on the market. Now, this one here, my patron, Tosh, who is also like someone that's gone through and done, it, done all these things and looked at these things and thought about it and tried everything. Because the only way to decide is just go and buy it all and try it if you're really into all this sort of stuff. <laughs> it's the only way you're going to know. And he said to me, have a look at this one. And this is made by Auto Fiber in the US. Uh, it's a, so basically, it's a cuffless mitt like this, but without that stretchy cuff. So it's less intrusive. Like you get your hand out of it if you want. And it's got like a stitching right down there that you can't see. So my fingers are being separated like one of those mitts. Um, which is good because when it's all wet, it doesn't drop down. Your hand won't go into the corner. So that's quite clever, actually. A bit of design's gone into that. The only problem is it's all going to be a bit floppy when it's wet. If you pardon the pun. But I quite like this. The other thing as well, sorry, but I'm just going, going through the negatives, is that I want it to be denser. I want these to be denser noodles. They all seem to be the same. They all seem to be roughly the same density. That's not quite... I want to double the amount of noodles on them if that's at all possible. It's probably going to make them more expensive. Um, but these two here are as close to, to what I want. So this video is, first of all, is there anything else out there that I've missed? I don't think there is. Here's the requirements. Must be a pad, okay? That breaks the requirements. Must be able to get my hands around it, so I don't want a big square pad. Must have a foam, it must have noodles on all sides, you know, both sides, and it must have a foam core inside it. Can't just be like this, like all floppy. Um, it's not bad though, they're not bad, don't get me wrong. And these two are the closest. Is there any that I'm missing? I'm almost tempted to see if I can have what I want made. Because if you look at this one over here, where is it? The microfiber madness. Just a little bit smaller. That is the perfect size. And the sponge in it is a little bit more, this is really old. The sponge is softened now, but the sponge in it was really good and lasts. So I almost want the noodle equivalent of this, but I do, I do want that tapering that that has so that I can just, I'm not stretching too much when that's all wet, I can just get hold of that. That's kind of what I'm looking for, I think. Um, you always want, you don't want to compromise. You want exactly what you want. So I'm going to end this video here. Let me know if there's anything that I want exists. Denser noodles, pad noodles on both sides, grabbable, not a massive great block, foam inside so it's not all floppy um, and not ridiculously expensive. You know, I want to be able to buy four or five of them and just chuck four or five in a wash bucket and wash the car and you don't need the second bucket like a lot of you're saying you know the multi-mit thing although you might just i might just use two you know or something like that but however many because i think that's just a bit more sensible and one of these is so cheap that you know when i can't come in what this costs is this 15 quid i can't remember 
you could end up getting like four four of those maybe you know of not that one but that type for one of these or one of you know this is like 20 quid for the duca one or even more so you could just have loads of noodles wash wash them all in one load after each wash as well that's what i'm looking to do so thanks for watching put in the comments if you can find anything out there i've been on aliexpress alibaba ba -ba 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 -ba. i've been on amazon i've been on the ebay i've been on the google the google i've been everywhere <laughs> looking so you know have a look see what you can find and don't put a link because it will get filtered out but just tell me what it is and where you get it from and i'll find it and if i can't find it i'll reply to you to ask for more information but say the brand name you know where you get it from and does it meet my requirements <laughs> i'm gonna get some some guys are gonna comment saying i like to use a synthetic wall mitt no no go back to, rewind the video to the brief go through those things see if you can find them and then we have we found collectively the best wash media. I'm getting there. I'm working my way through every genre of detailing products and I'm nearly there with like what, what's the best, you know, that I've talked about it before. Go end this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.